The show today is brought to you by Manscaped, the leaders in below the waistline grooming. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we understand below the waistline grooming is important. It's important to take care of your short and curlies and keep them looking nice and neat for yourself from a hygiene perspective and for entertainment perspectives as well. And the best way to do that is with the Lawnmower 4.0 or Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 that does have that Lawnmower 4.0 with the tactical light that you know helps you out when you're in the shower. Got that light on. Sometimes it's a little dark in the area. It'd be like that sometimes, D. You know that. You know, but you also got the two-on-one body wash. You got the shampoo, the conditioner, all of these other awesome products that Manscapes offers to you, just for you. You want them. You need them. They'll make you feel better, make you feel more confident as well. And because we have a promo code, we're even going to save you some money today, all right? So that promo code is MOTES. If you use that, you'll get your 20% off along with free shipping worldwide at manscaped.com. And now that I think about it, Deke, cuffing season is getting here, baby. You know what cuffing season is like, man. So please. Gotta bring your A game. Please bring your A game. All right? Manscaped can help you do that. But you don't want to be caught less than ready during cuffing season. So shout out to Manscaped.com. Even some of the backside slant stuff that he had designed off of the play action pass to Deontay Johnson and George Pickens even got a chance to show Kenny making some NFL caliber throws when we talk about them tight windows where, hey, if this guy's on his back shoulder, you got to throw it to his front shoulder. They don't always get highlighted in the game because they're slant plays and stuff like that. But seeing those type of throws, those type of reads off of the play action pass, I thought Canada did a good job of simplifying it for Kenny and allowing him to make those type of plays. But then it was also good to see Kenny actually be able to execute that as well. So just to, te- uh, to go back to that schematically stuff that you were talking about, man, I thought across the board that was really good as well, man. Yeah, I thought Pickett was pretty money in this mm-hmm. game. 18 for 30. All of his misses. Oh, early on, he was struggling, bro. Um, Early on, he was struggling. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Here's my point, though. Ball security was there, 100%. Yes. That was one of no the complaints that we man. were having. Yeah, no turnover. Yeah, so all, that, man. all of his incompletions, yeah. there was pretty much no chance any of the Saints defenders were going to intercept the ball. There was one that they did intercept, but, but as that soon was as Pickett threw it, it, it flag, he was looking yeah. at him. So it was like, flag. Oh, come on, you can't get yeah. away with that. It was a flag. Everything else, it was either a yeah. throwaway or it was only where the receiver was going to catch mm-hmm. it. And some of them were actually some close drops. Like yeah. Najee, there was that one. No, no, hit him in the hands. He faded yeah, up yeah, back in the end zone. I don't know Absolutely. if we want to like give Najee a break on that or yeah. not because he's a running back. But that depends was an absolute how you dime by Pickett. Yeah, it depends on how you look at it. It was a beautiful pass. No, I, I'm with you on that. But he did have in the first half. He had some misses, and that he was did. the part. It was like, no, nah, he definitely. He's a rookie. He's not going to be perfect. Shoot, none of these quarterbacks are perfect. But for him, man, I'm just enjoying to see how he keeps getting confident and keeps responding as well. Because, yeah, when you miss some throws, man, early on, it's easy to get in the tank. When you have a couple bad plays early on, it's easy to get in the tank. But he did the opposite. You know, he kept getting better as the game went on. And then to see, even in the fourth quarter, some of the execution, you know, that was huge. Not only defensively, we not allowing them to ever get past them 10 points. But offensively, man, we executed that four-minute offense, like, beautifully. The running game element of it, even the series prior to that, uh, or two series prior to that, when we got the interception from Casey, I think it was. And that was where we, you know, go down there and we were able to punch it in and stuff like that. Just seeing how he was in command of the offense, seeing how he was able to lead those scoring drives or put them in position even for some of those field goal drives and stuff like that man i thought that was also a real testament to him and just how he's continuing to evolve and continuing to get better but he still got some work to do man you know i don't want you to just make them perfect today man because then they're gonna be going over there tripping on them next week you know no, I, I just think yeah. the formula is there like he's he's able to do stuff now where we can win mm-hmm. as the quarterback as the leader of this team and yeah. it's not gonna be perfect with him being a rookie mm-hmm. but what he can bring to the table and his escapability. He got yeah. 50 rush yards there. Bro, Some of them were the big first down picks. Huge, man. Absolutely. Combine that with the throws that we're seeing. And now, and this is what I was kind of talking yeah. about earlier. I think the defense performing how they did in that first quarter, second quarter, mm-hmm. early on, that gave the offense leeway yeah. for Pickett to maybe ha- have a little bit of a misstep no, here absolutely. there early on. Absolutely. And then we finally got our stride. And the run game was yeah. a huge help, too. But that's what, like, all of these guys have to work together. All three phases, man, it has to be locked in. And it was yesterday. And that was also, you know, why when we talk about this team going forward, everything that we saw yesterday was in-house corrections, right? We talk about consistency in the running game. We were talking about guys getting open, 
throwing good passes. We're talking about tackling, rushing the passer, creating turnovers, and actually catching the turnovers. He called a shot. He said, we got to catch these yeah. balls on defense. Like, he caught it. Like, First literally, in, all of these things, it. man, all of these things that we've been talking about these previous weeks, we finally saw it come together. Now, context does matter. But at the same time, these are things that we can expect to at least build a punt. Now, we will see when you face a, you know, a more polished opponent what that might look like because we said this Saints team was very similar to us in a sense of, you know, where they're at roster wise and personnel and stuff like that. But I'm glad we were able to take care of that, man, because we got to win the ones we're supposed to win. And that yesterday was 100% when we were supposed to win. And I'm glad that we did that.